Hey guys, my name is Kente Iwasaki, and I'm the CTO of Perlin. This is episode 2 of a series of videos that pictorially goes through the entirety of Wavelet's white paper. So, why exactly do modern proof-of-stake blockchains not scale? More specifically, Ethereum version 2, EOS, Uros Prowse, Definity, Algorand, and other blockchains hoisting the concept of committees, block producers, beacon nodes, or validator sets. Imagine you have a network of a million nodes, thousands of transactions happening on a daily basis. Within the network, a subset of 21, 100, or even a thousand nodes are responsible for validating and finalizing all of the transactions happening at any single moment in time. Let's call this subset of nodes within the network a committee. Depending on the protocol you analyze, you might notice that the protocol might rotate, or drop or reshuffle committees every so often, via means of some slew of mechanisms. However, and I emphasize this to be very trivial, irrespective of how the committee is chosen, would you choose just 21, 100, or even a thousand nodes to be responsible for processing all of the transactions of the entire network comprised of a million nodes? Would you trust the government of a hundred people to process every single little interaction of a million people? The answer is no, irrespective of how often the government is reformed or even how the people in the government were picked. The very same may be said for protocols that utilize the concept of committees. There's very little reason why it is sensible to rely on just a thousand people to handle and process sensitive information of a million. Hackers may simply launch distributed denial of service attacks to take down a majority of a committee of such small size and jeopardize the safety and liveness of the entire network. Now, some might argue that safety may be preserved by simply increasing the committee size to sizes of a thousand validators, ten thousand validators, or even a million validators. However, the very moment you increase the amount of people in the committee, recall that periodically, Every single person in the committee must talk to one another in order to relay their votes or opinions as to whether or not some set of transactions are valid or invalid. This communication needed to tally up votes from the committee every so often is exponential in time complexity with respect to the number of people represented within the committee. Hence, the more people within the committee, the longer it takes for consensus to happen. Therefore, there exists a bottleneck. If you increase the size of the committee, the network will be safer, but the network will process transactions exponentially slower. If you decrease the size of the committee, the network will be exponentially weaker, but the network will process transactions significantly faster. All modern proof-of-stake blockchains that utilize committees face this very same dilemma, and therefore are not at all scalable or reasonable to be used as a public blockchain. Blockchains that are leaderless on the other hand, such as Bitcoin, do not face such a critical scalability bottleneck like the one I've just described. If you believe there are alternative reasons or would like to know more, please do leave me some comments below. I'm more than happy to respond. Till next time.